Diedrich Bank is proud to support our local high school sports teams and be the Rep King Media Sponsor for the 2023-2024 basketball season. Live for today, bank for tomorrow, member FDIC. Thank you. 
like I told the radio, he's I'm so so darn proud of him. You know, he's he has just persevered, continued to work. He didn't play in junior high, um, and that wasn't rightfully so. You know, uh, he was he was behind a lot of really good teams, and he was not developed yet. Uh, but he kept sticking with it. He loved being around these guys, and here he is making a gigantic impact on a sectional game. You know, that, it's just so cool. Stories like that, just it's so cool. I'm so proud of him to, for continuing to persevere and uh, and making such a, a stamp on this game. As you mentioned, talking about Ozzy, uh, his rebounding as well was critical, um, especially on the defensive end, but offensive end. He was boxing out, doing everything he could to keep the defense guessing. Yeah, he was, you know, was constantly moving, doing the things that we ask him, getting to the right spots. Um, he has to do things. He has to execute the right way to get to get those rebounds, and he was doing that tonight. Uh, Garrett picked up the second foul there early in the first quarter. Adjusting to that, you obviously mentioned all the time, next man up. Ozzy was that, but how do you feel like Kramer did as well? Kramer, Alex Kramer, Drew Haney, Zach Nieberge, you know, and – Garrett got two quick ones, and just the nature that the game was being called, I just didn't didn't feel like I could put him back in there because uh, I didn't want him to get a cheap third one. And those guys stepped up big for us to still have a four point lead without you know our best offensive player on the floor, and and really defensively, Garrett was guarding their best player. You know, so Zach took a turn, Alex took a turn, Alex played the whole third quarter on their best player. Uh, so you know, everybody everybody helped you know, kind of gap, gap that bridge to where Garrett could get back on him in the fourth quarter. So that's all Mitch Custer. You know, Mitch is, he, he's a goober. He's a goofball. He makes it light. And they feed off that. They all, they all, they all take that on. They don't let, this doesn't bother them. You know, they, they, they have enough confidence in themselves that they're going to make plays when they need to. And Mitch is the driving force on that. He is come about Austin. Yes, I know. Okay, but Mitch, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Mitch is the driving force of speaking that into him. You know, constantly doing that positive talk to him. Mitch, Mitch leads the charge, and everybody accepts it. And that's why went, that's why they play so confidently. Yeah, Alex did a great job of cutting off drives and getting open, uh, and you know, getting in there in the lane to where he could get a layup or layup or two. He was he was really good at filling his role tonight. Defensively, I, I really thought both teams were pretty incredible of not letting e either team get in a rhythm. We didn't make one three tonight, um, but our game plan was to pound it inside and get get as many paint scores as we could. Um, we let their sh a couple of our shooters get loose a couple times, but um, tremendous defensive effort. I was a little upset with our defensive rebounding there towards the, their late late in each half, really. Um, you know, if we hold them to one shot like we normally do, that game's, game's a little further spread. But Henry Thomas is, of course, one of the best players, and uh, defensively he had he had tough shots after tough shots late in the game. How do you contribute that to when Gaddis was in the game, but, but Zach was able to spell him here and there too? Well, and everybody took took to heart what we talk about all the time with other teams' best players: make things make things hard. They're going to score, they're going to get their shots, but they got to be hard shots, difficult shots. If they're contested and they make it, hats off to them. Sometimes the offense wins, but. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're relying on percentages. If they're, if they're going to keep taking tough shots, odds are we're, they're going to miss them and we're going to get the rebound. Um, we tried. We actually tried to run our offense a little higher um, and to get them to extend and open up the paint. I thought that helped us a little bit. Um, but they're late, you know, about the three-minute mark. We got way too chaotic and kept just dribbling the basketball. Um, hurry, hurry up to get rid of it. Um, but finally, we calmed down a little bit, made some big time free throws when we needed to, and um, really shut the door on them. Now you get St. Joe the rematch on Friday night for the sectional title. Uh, you played them once, beat them, but it's hard to beat team twice. How do you feel like execution down the stretch in this game will help you out more Friday night? Well, it's it, it's it's a moment that they're that they're not foreign to. You know, it's another big moment for these guys. They're gonna they're gonna give everything they have. They'll empty the tank tomorrow, or Friday night, I know they will, and they're going to give St. Joe our best shot. Austin, you had a really good game tonight, 10 points, and you had several rebounds. Your confidence was through the roof tonight. How do you feel like they kind of helped you out more than anything? I mean, getting rebounds, it always gets the crowd pumped up, and, you know, it always transfers over to offense. And, I mean, my shots are just falling. It's, it was all, all fun when you got the crowd behind your back. What does this mean to you? You're playing for a sectional title your senior year. 
I mean, it's awesome. I always wanted to play on a postseason type uh, floor, and it's all fun. So, Mitch gives you the ball a lot. You guys are like a one-two punch down there. How important is that when he gets you the ball? And it's almost like you know where you're going with it. I mean, it's important, yeah. He always, always knowing that he has confidence in me, it's awesome.